In our previous videos, we have seen all of the REST APIs which are related to the admin client APIs are accessed only by the admin user. For this resource, all the policies are for the admin user. Now, what we want to do is for these kind of REST APIs, in a sense, the user specific information retrieval, delete, or any other REST APIs, I want to give the access to this user who is actually logged in and he or she is trying to access the resources that are related to only them. In a sense, these REST APIs, for example, get key clock users user ID should be accessible by admin as well as by that specific user who is logged in. For that, Keycloak doesn't explicitly provide any policy to configure. So what we need to do is we need to configure the JavaScript policy provider here. How can we do that? Let's see what it needs is Spring Boot application should send the information about this user ID to the Keycloak and the key clock should verify that specific id with the logged in user id from the token so to configure the information in the spring boot application what we need to do is we need to add some configurations in the policy enforcer.json here if you see i have added these two paths the first path here is for our user information slash key clock users user id and within this i have to send the claim for that specific api here i'm sending request.uri there is option to send the request.parameter as well but for the path parameter somehow it doesn't work so that's the reason i'm using the request.uri and the claim name is uri underscore claim and the reason to add this as well in the configuration is if we add the configuration for the path which somehow starts with slash key clock then the rest of the apis will not work so that's the reason we need to add this as well now let's see how can we create the javascript policy provider so to create a javascript policy provider what we need to do is we first need to create a directory with name meta inf and within this we need to create keycloak scriptsjson and if you open this we have defined policies here the property policy contains a list of policies since we need only one policy user policy and the file name will be user hyphen policy.js and that user hyphen policy.js should be there here outside the meta inf directory let's see this policy here if you see what i'm doing is i'm trying to get the token user id token user id in a sense the primary key id of the logged in user how can we fetch that we can use this dollar evaluation dot get context dot get identity and get id so this will give us the primary key id of the logged in user from the token and how did we know this path or the call of methods to fetch this is from evaluation class so evaluation class contains context so this evaluation context if you go to this evaluation context you will find the identity if i use get identity it will give me the identity object value this is basically the user identity object and within this user identity object the primary key id is get id and that's the reason we are calling in this manner the other property we need is the value from the claims that is being sent from the spring boot application so for that what we need to do evaluation dot get permission dot get claims dot get of uri claim this property name is taken from uri claim and since this is a set what i'm doing here iterator dot next so this will give me the uri path and from this uri path what will be our uri path this is our uri path so if i split using the slash we will get zeroth index value will be empty first second and third in the third we will have the value of the id and that's the reason 
we are using this so uri user id we are trying to print this and we just need to check if both of these are equal if they are equal then grant the permission and if they are not then deny so just to show you this path within this evaluation we had get permission get permission is resource permission and within this resource permission get claims and if you see get claims is a map and from that get claim i am fetching the uri claim if you see map of string and set of string in a sense the value will be a set of string and that's the reason iterator dot next let's build a jar file for this now select all and compress to zip jar and just ch changing the zip to jar and copy this we need to place this policy jar here within the key clock we have something called providers we need to paste over here so once we do this we need to build it within the bin kc.bat start Server is started. Me reload this. If you see in the policies, it has created a user policy. So earlier, if you have seen in our other videos, this user policy or our own specific policy was not present. Now we have this user policy what i need to do is i have already added this user resource slash users user id and i have added this authorization scope because we have http scope based method enabled here that's the reason we have added this get and create a policy user policy I'm naming it as user policy and if you see it is not showing here anything and it will not allow you to edit as well you just save and whatever the policy we defined in the JS will appear here save and there you go and one thing you see here I'm using war and not let or const from the JavaScript this is because it doesn't support let and const and also in java 15 and above the javascript engine is not shipped along with the java so if you are using java 15 and above and if you are using keycloak version less than 21.1.0 then you need to add the javascript engine dependencies by yourself so it is better to use keycloak 21.1.0 1.0 and above because keycloak ships the javascript engine libraries along with its keycloak installation from 21.1.0 so this is done now we need to create a permission resource based permission user permission and resource is user resource policy is user policy and save let's start the application and check okay let me stop again and start the application is started let me reload we fetch the list of users for this only admin has the access what i'm doing and so we have these this is the primary key id for the admin user so use it here try it out and execute so you'll see admin can access this rest api path for these configurations policies and permissions and if you see in our policies what i have done here is i am printing the token user id as well as the uri user id that can be seen here 
So token user ID and the URI user ID are same and hence this user is able to access this specific user information. So what I'm going to do is I will try to access, for example, Amar, the information of Amar. Execute, it doesn't have the access because admin is logged in and trying to access the information of Amar. Also, you can see here, this is the token of logged in user and URI path user ID. But I need admin as well to have the access to these. So what we need to do for that in the permissions, I will add keycloak admin policy as well. Here you see we have something called decision strategies. When you add more than one policy, then decision strategy will become important. Here affirmative in a sense, at least one of these policy is satisfied, then the user will have the access. Unanimous in a sense, all of these policies should be satisfied. In a sense, the logged in user should have all of these policies. In our case, we have either user or the admin. So what we need to do, we need to use affirmative. So consensus in a sense, the number of successful policies should be greater than the number of unsuccessful policies. Hence, we cannot use consensus because if they are equal, successful policy and unsuccessful policy numbers are equal, even then it will be a failure. So affirmative is one of these and that's the reason we'll select affirmative and save. Now, admin is logged in and he was not able to access Amar. Now he is able to access Amar. Let's see if Amar is able to access his own information. Amar, authorize and so Amar is also able to access his own information. What if Suresh tries to log in? Authorize and so Suresh doesn't have the access because you'll see here. So Suresh logged in token is this and he is trying to access Amar's information and that's the reason he doesn't have the access. I'll use again Suresh ID has the access to his own information. So this is how we can achieve this specific use case wherein logged in user should have the access to his or her own information that's it for this video thanks for watching